What's up Star Wars fans? Welcome to another one of these Black Series 6 inch action figure reviews. We've got Tobias Beckett as played by Woody Harrelson, number 68 of the Black Series line. Here he is on the front of the box, Tobias Beckett. This number 68 on the side, I'll knock the figure over. Little, little bio there at the top. Beckett is a survivor, always quietly working out angles to come out ahead. He's assembled a team of specialised scoundrels to carry out risky but profitable heists. Definitely one of the great characters to come out of Solo, a Star Wars story. I was a little hesitant about how I felt about them casting Woody Harrelson. Um, but he's absolutely nailed it. He was a great character. He's uh, he slotted in very seamlessly into the Star Wars world. And yeah, just a really great character. Uh, he's almost the predecessor to Han Solo before Han Solo becomes Han Solo, if that makes sense. Um, he's a scoundrel, basically. That's that's the best way to put it. But a, but a great character, a really cool look to him too. Um, just that first scene you see of him when Han looks out over the ridge and he's just there swinging his two blasters around, taking out the Mimbanese uh, militia. Very memorable. Get a nice close look up of him there. So again, another figure that's really jumping off the screen, I think. It looks really good. He's uh, sort of moustache and light facial hair, which... You know, it's quite light, light hair in, in the uh, film anyway, so it doesn't really jump out, but it's it's not really jumping off the figure, but you can kind of tell he's got a little bit of shadow going on down there. Just the sculptor's damn, damn good on this. He's sort of shabby, shabby, messy hair. looks good I'll remove his weapons for the moment and just get a look at the rest of the figure so he's got his big coat he's got his shirt he's sort of double double holster and I love the way they've sort of molded this coat to swing out around behind one of the holsters there I think that's really good Really great uh, design choice there to do that. Having it on both sides might have been a bit too much, but you can sort of flick it down behind there like that anyway, if you really wanted to. Like he's about to draw those double pistols and start taking guys out. Nicely sculpted, nice weathering. Great details on this figure. Even just like throughout the belt, the silver buckles. These little bits and pieces there. We even painted the buckle on the bat belt, and you can't even see it most of the time. Both the holsters have working working pegs there, so you can open and close them. Put the blasters in there and close them in. He's got his boots; they look great too. Loved hands, both with that trigger finger. He looks good. We'll get a look at his at his blasters now. And you're not you're not going to believe this, but I've actually done some research, and I'm going to name the name of these guns. Now, this first one is a Blast Tech RS KF44 Heavy Blaster. I'm going to move him out of the way just so we can focus on this thing a bit better. I oh know, shock horror, right? I actually did some research. It really wasn't that difficult. <laughs> so it's nicely, nicely sculpted. Glad the uh, handle gets a bit of paint and love. So I'm just going to pop that in his, in his hand for the minute. Now the next one 
is the Blast Tech Sideloader DG29 Heavy Blaster. Well, look at me go. Have a have a listen. I know I've, I know my stuff now. Granted, the second I put my book away that I have open next to me, I will not remember it. But that's okay. My memory be will be forever preserved in video. Well, that's a nice looking blaster. Very reminiscent of uh, Hans DL44. With the scope on top. Looks sick. So the only thing he didn't come with with his sort of uh, was his blade, but that's okay. He's only got two hands. Maybe Rio will come with it. But that is Tobias Beckett articulation. He's got ball jointed head, ball in shoulders, elbows, wrists, upper torso, hips, thighs, double joints in the knees, and joint in the ankles. Excuse me, I just had a bit of a hiccup on the surface there. Drop a comment below, let me know what you think. I'd be definitely be interested to hear your thoughts. This is a this is a really great figure, one of the best in the line. Really great job. And a really cool character. Thank you very much for watching as always. Until my next video guys, may the force be with you.